Okay. Okay, thanks, Anne. So I'm not going to keep you that long today because if you guys are like me, it's absolutely boiling out and I'm melting in my kitchen. So I've chosen quite an easy recipe today. It's easy to make, it's really tasty and healthy and quite summery. So I thought it'd go nice with the day that we've got. So we're going to be making a tabbouleh salad and have it with halloumi. So I'll show you where I'm at, so what I've done so far. And if you're not there, you can catch up. So in front of me, I have prepped my couscous. So as you can see, it's all quite fluffy. And then I have chopped cucumber, tomatoes and sliced my spring onions, quite small. And then on my other chopping board, I've got a pile of mint and a pile of basil. So if we do all that first, and then if you let me know when you're there, we'll add it to the couscous and we'll make the salad and then we'll pop that in the fridge uh, while, we, while we do the halloumi. Has anyone had tabbouleh before? No. No? No. Oh. I've had it in like, um, you know, like when I have falafel wraps. I think yes. it with sort of that kind of stuff as well. So it's always great with hummus if anyone's got any hummus in the fridge. Well, I was going to say, I've done it with halloumi, but you can you can have it with feta, chicken, fish. Uh, it's nice with a bit of pesto on top. So it's really adaptable, but I just think it's really fresh for a hot day like today. Chopped uh, most things, but I didn't do the mint and basil. How much do you, of those do you need to do? A really good handful of both and just finally chop it for me. Yeah, you need quite a bit of herbs. It brings the freshness to it. Uh, and you'll need your lemons, oil and salt and pepper as well. So I'll just wait till everyone gets to that stage. Has everyone had halloumi before? I know you don't eat it, Anne, but have other people had halloumi before? Yeah. 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 Squeaky cheese, we call it in our house. <laughs> <laughs> have you had a busy week, Ellen? Sorry? Have you had a busy week? Yes, very, because I'm on holiday next week. Oh, nice. Where are you going? So, we're going to just outside Bridlington for a week. So this week's been manic trying to get everything done before I, I go away next week. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> Do I saw it the other week for the first time and I was absolutely amazed how beautiful it was. Oh, it's gorgeous. I even now, on the doorstep and not a clue. Ah. Dare I ask if you've had a busy weekend? Um. Yeah, it's been a bit of a, been a, bit, a bit of a boring one in my standard in the sense that um, we've got we basically it's coming up to the end of end of the Premier League funding, so we're having to do loads of like moni monitoring reports and stuff like that. So yeah. rather being out and about, we're just sort of start typing away, which is not the greatest, is it? Mm -hmm. But gotta be done. How much mint would you recommend, Ella? How much mint? Yeah. Just, Just a good handful, a good handful of mint, finely chopped, and same for basil. Oh. On it. Yeah, that's fine. And then if you just fluff your couscous up so it's all separated. Has everybody got two lemons? Yeah. Yeah. 
what I'm going to suggest when we do it is put one in first and we'll put it in the fridge and then when we get it back out have a taste and see because I like it really lemony but not everybody might do so we'll add one and then you can add more to it my kitchen smells amazing Mm. It smell all fresh and summery. Yeah, it really does. Mm -hmm. I normally make this salad when we're having a barbecue or something like that. It's just a really good like side dish. Yeah. Okay, so are we nearly all at the same place? Have we got everything yeah. chopped? Yeah. Yeah? Not quite. Sorry? Not quite. Not quite. I'll wait for you, Rona. No rush. Where are the other four are? I think they're sacking it off. They're outside, aren't they, enjoying the sunshine? <laughs> Just go and check my phone. It'll be two seconds. Yeah, so I've put my couscous in quite a large bowl because we're going to be adding everything into it. If you've got a big bowl, you can put your couscous in. You'll also, for the next bit, you'll need a large frying pan as well if you're doing the halloumi. So if you want to be getting that out ready. That's what I managed to get, Ella. I don't know what Let's it is. Let's have a look. I've tried it before. Wow. I don't know if it's awesome. like fryable. I might, I might try and fry a bit, see what happens. We'll try it, yeah. I'm sorry, I always forget about you, Anne. I'm very sorry. No, I don't worry. Like I said, there usually is an alternative for everything anyway. It's just, I don't know where they, I don't know if they've sort of um, taken it off the shelves or something like that, but it's usually absolutely everywhere. Um, yeah. I just couldn't find it this week, unfortunately. Uh -huh. Oh, well. Okay. So if you've all got your couscous in a big bowl. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so right, if you add your spring onions, tomato and cucumber first. And if you give that a really good mix in. Then I want you to add olive oil. You need six tablespoons of olive oil. Mm -hmm. 
Hi, Valencia. How are you? Trouble, trouble in the mill again, trying to get... Uh, uh, there you are, all right. So all we've done so far, where are you at at the moment? Have you... I've just boiled my kettle up. I'm just trying to work out how much water I need in that... Um... In the couscous? Of course. Yeah. I'll pass you over to Ella. Hi, Valencia. Hi. Hi, Ella. So with, your, with your couscous, how many people are you cooking for? Well, if I'm following the recipe, it's the four of us, but there's only two of us. Right, so use a third of the packet of the couscous and cover it in boiling water. Okay. Okay? Yep, so I'll put it back. <laughs> Can you just go through, the, I've mixed the um, ingredients in with the couscous. Just go, go back to the olive oil, how much was it? Six tablespoons. <laughs> And then mix that in. And then once the oil's in, you can add your herbs, salt and pepper, and your juice of one lemon. These cherry tomatoes have got to be cut up small, haven't they? Sorry, I missed that. These cherry tomatoes, they want cutting up quite small, do they? Yeah, I quartered them. Okay. <laughs> added everything in and that's what mine looks like now so I finished it off with the lemon juice and salt and pepper right uh, and then what I'm going to do is pop it in the fridge to keep it as cold as possible while we do the halloumi so I'll wait for you all to catch up I'll just pop mine in the fridge Saying Ella, we've cooked us couscous with boiling water, chopped up all as veg, uh, chucked it in a big bowl, uh, veg couscous. We've added six tablespoons of olive oil, yeah, and then yep. your herbs, salt, pepper. Your herbs being your mint and your basil, yeah, pepper, and then just lemon. Juice of one lemon. We've got two, but like I say, I do like it really lemony. But yeah. if you put one in and then taste it just before we serve it. If yeah. it gets that far on where you're going, it might not even make it that far. <laughs> Is it good? <laughs> Tastes great so far. Yeah, good. But yeah, I've added my lemon, my salt and my pepper and popped it in the fridge to keep it cool. So now what we need to do is prep our halloumi. So when you open your packet of halloumi, there is water in it. So just be careful when you're opening it. When do you put your herbs in? Right, so if you do your couscous, and then once it's fluffed up, you add your tomatoes, cucumber and spring onion first. Yeah, I've done that. Then add six tablespoons of olive oil. Right, that's it, Stephanie. Yeah. 
Yep. If you add six of those. Well, I need six if it's a slightly smaller portion. No, go with three good ones. Yep. Then, then. And then if you mix that in, stir it all in. Yep. And then you need to add your mint and your basil. I can put that in now. Yeah, perfect. Put the basil. Well, it's chopping up first, isn't it? Okay, okay. So I am, while Valencia's just chopping her herbs, I'm just slicing my halloumi into pieces like this. So oh, roughly like that size slices of halloumi. Quite thick, but not too thick. Yeah. Right, so there's my halloumi cup ready. I'll just wait for Valencia to catch up though. We're not in a rush. Yeah. Similar this cheese, um, Ella. It's quite watery, so hopefully it'll be all right. It looks very similar. Mm. You'll have to let us all know what it's like. Yeah, the only thing they're not very good at vegan cheese, like the meat's pretty much all right. It's just the, the cheese is just not great. How long have you been vegan? Uh, oh god, six years is it? Yeah, yeah, I bet you've tried a lot of alternatives in that time. Then, I have, I have. Um, a few years ago, it was it was really bad, it wasn't great, but more recently, it's just there's yeah. just nothing you can't get. Like, I know there's not, there's everything alternatives these days. Um, I, I you know what, the alternatives I miss cheese more than I actually miss meat, so yeah, just wish they'd do a really good. Melt good vegan cheese. cheese. <laughs> but, oh well, beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> Are you getting on, Valencia? Just having a bit of salt. You want some pepper, does it? A bit of salt and pepper, and the juice of one lemon. Okay. And then when you've done that, give it a really, really good stir and pop it in the fridge. Yeah. Before. Have you not had halloumi? No. It's it's quite salty and a bit squeaky, but it's it's lovely. I like feta cheese, so I'll probably like it. It is nice. So if you all get your frying pans ready and slice your halloumi for me, and you're going to need a bit more oil for the pan. Yep. Keep that out. So this can go into the fridge now, can't it? Yeah, pop that in the fridge for me. Okay, so if you get a frying pan out, Valencia, um, you just need to slice your halloumi like that. Yeah. I may have to put extra but uh, spring onions and things when I've finished it. Yeah, that's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm caught up. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit of oil in the pan and pop the heat on. use a fish slice to turn it but you can use a spoon tongs my alarm is 
it's going to crack down it. <laughs> yeah, a lot of them do, don't worry. They might break up in half, that's fine. Yeah, they're more like chip shape now. <laughs> Halloumi chips are lovely, don't worry about that. <laughs> right. So yeah, if you warm your pan up with your oil, and then when you've got to that stage, if you just want to put your halloumi in. Yep. A man in the pan like that. Yeah, that looks lovely. Mine's sizzling away, so I'm going to turn it down a bit. How's yours doing, Anne? Just waiting for my pan to warm up. So just keep an eye on it. You I'll want it to be golden on each side. How long would you say you're cooking for on each side, Ella? I would say two to three minutes on each side. Don't have it up too high because you don't want it to burn. It just goes a nice golden colour. But I would say approximately two, three minutes on each side. Perfect. Is anyone else going anywhere nice over the summer? No. 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 He's not going anywhere. Not this year. Not this year. Maybe next year. I think we're going Are you going anywhere, Anne? Uh, Cornwall in, uh, I want to say end of August. I think we're no. going because uh, my partner's mum and dad have been going for like the past five, six years. So the, the, the place that they usually stay at, they sort of book it every single year. So they've fortunately, fortunately just had that booking already. So we've just sort of tagged on while we can. I went, I went in, I went in uh, June, Cornwall. It's, there's a lot more people going down there this oh, year. Oh, no, but that's the that's the, that's exactly what they've said. They've got sort of friends yeah. and family that are, are sort of got holiday homes down there, and they say it's it's absolutely packed in comparison to previous years. Well, I went I went before school holidays. I don't know what it's like now. Oh, <laughs> from the pictures I've seen, it's absolutely packed. <laughs> Everyone's had the same idea, haven't they, this year? We should have been going to Mallorca, but we cancelled it uh, ourselves. So we're going to Brid and then we're going to Cleethorpes for a week at the end of August. Uh, at least we're still getting away with the kids. You just need a beach in your life, don't you, sometimes? Yeah. There it is, a beach. Fish and chips, ice cream. That's all you need. Sounds great. When mine's ready, I'll show it you. It's not quite ready yet. Yeah, mine's not. Quite a lot of water comes out of it, isn't there? You're a loomy. Mm. There's not much water that comes out, only a little bit. Mm. I'll show you mine in a minute. Okay. I usually cook calumni on breville. It seems to work a lot better. On the what? On the breville. Yeah. So, uh, I'll just show you these. I don't know if you can see. That's the kind of colour that you're looking for. Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, mine's just melting. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Uh, all right, we'll stick to feta. <laughs> You'll just have to. Why don't you try it just chopped up like feta? Yeah, well, that's what I, that was. That was a plan anyway. But I've cut up just a little bit just to try, and it's um, yeah, didn't didn't work. 
more more of a, a, a mac and cheese sauce at the moment. Well, you found a cheese that melts. Oh yeah, I know, right? <laughs> it's just pure water. <laughs> I'll just give you a quick look at mine again. So mine is nearly done. That's what mine's looking looking like. Oh, nice. It might be another minute or so. I'm just going to leave mine in the pan, but turn the heat off now because I don't want it to cook too much more. Okay. If your halloumi is done, if you want to get your tabbouleh out of the fridge, I'm just going to give it a really good stir. I'm just going to have a quick taste and see what it needs. Right, needs more salt and more lemon. Have you decided at any time to put pesto in it, uh, Ella? Do you know, I've actually put that on the recipe. Do you know... When I've done at the end, I normally drizzle some olive oil and some pesto on top of the halloumi. Yeah. Great minds think alike. Well, when will we put pesto in it if we decide we want a little bit? Uh, I would put pesto on top of the halloumi at the end. Okay. Am I, am I but it, yeah, it, pesto? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've added some cheese into mine. Ella, so it's a bit fettery, but it tastes great. Looks beautiful. So I've added some more salt and lemon, and mine's just about ready. So all I would do, because I can see we've got five minutes left on the timer, all I would do is serve the um, tabbouleh in a bowl topped with a, two or three slices of halloumi. Yeah. And then if you want to drizzle some more olive oil on the top, or put some pesto on, and that's it. Maybe some fresh herbs on top. Yeah. Whatever, whatever you fancy. Some chili, if you like chili. Oh, I might do that one actually. Some chili plates, I think. Ooh, yeah. Thanks so much for that, Ella. <laughs> I'm coming back. No problem. Anytime. Thank you for having me back. Oh yes, I got some couscous stuck in my throat then. <laughs> oh. Um, is everyone up to scratch, guys? Does everyone sort of know where they're at? Everyone cooking halloumi? Yeah. Get you guys out of the kitchen as quick as possible. It is the hottest day of my life. Oh, no. I'm going out to eat mine. I'm, I'm going to go and eat mine outside in the sunshine, I think. I so. Oh, Me nice, so. Kim. That looks great. Yeah. That does look beautiful. Well, it's amazing. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Next week yeah. is the last week, um, and we'll have a little... Um, We'll have a little catch up and see how we get on. Please enjoy the sun, enjoy your food. Thank you so much, Ella. I really do appreciate it. No problem. Yeah. Nice to see Thanks everybody again.
Thank you. 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 Thank